Good morning, artists. You know what time it is. Time to get ready to do some art. And I hope you guys don't mind, but I wanted to extend Black History Month and I wanted to do another artist, even though we're officially not uh, celebrating Black History Month right now. But you know what? We lost a week and I thought you guys would be like, oh, okay, Miss Duncan, we can do it. So with that... I would like to get started on our Lois Malloy Jones project, okay? Lois Malloy Jones, all right? So, she was a very famous artist during the Harlem Renaissance period. She was an illustrator. She was also a textile artist. So, that meant that she drew on fabrics, okay? So, we're going to draw in her style today, okay? So, you guys are gonna need a ruler, that's something new, okay guys? So a ruler, I think I'm gonna use this ruler. I think this one's better. You're gonna need your pencil and an eraser, guys, okay? And as well, you're also gonna need to color this when you are done. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure to two inches, okay? Two inches, and then I'm going to make a mark. And then I'm gonna turn my ruler around. And of course, guys, if you don't have a ruler, just use anything with a straight edge and use that. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line on my paper, okay, guys? There you go. And then I'm gonna do the same down below. I'm going to measure two inches, make a mark, use my straight edge, make sure that my paper is straight. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use my dot there. And make a horizontal line. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the sides, okay guys? So basically, you are making a frame. She was known for doing her artwork like this. So I'm gonna uh, go out two inches, make a mark, and then I'm gonna go over here, put it on the two, and measure out two inches, okay guys? Everybody see that? So I have zero, one, two, here's two inches. Make sure that your paper is lined up at the zero, okay? Everybody see that? Lined up at the zero. Now, I'm gonna go out <clears throat> and draw my line. Make sure I'm um, on my dot there. Then guys, I basically have a frame here, which is going to be where the silhouette of my person will be. Now, the middle of my paper, the middle of my paper will be wherever I fold it, okay? So I know that the middle of my paper is about right here. So starting at the middle of my paper, I'm going to draw the side profile of someone's face, of a person's face, okay? So starting about right here, I'm going to lightly draw, remember draw a light until you get it right. You know I say that all the time. So starting in the middle of my paper, I'm going to draw the forehead and the slope of the nose to about right here. And this is about the middle part of my paper okay so i do that to my note do the the nose to the center part of the paper then i'm going to take my nose and go in just draw a light until you get it right guys and then after i draw my nose i'm going to go back out and draw the profile of my mouth, my person's mouth. Then I'm going to draw their chin. 
Just slightly draw, guys. Go a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to draw the bottom of their chin and then drop down to their neck. So there you go. Okay. And guys, what you can do if you're like, if you want to say, you know what, this doesn't look quite right, you kind of look back at it, look with your artist's eyes, make sure that it is the way that you want it to be. If you're like, oh, this looks too big, this looks too small, guess what? You have drawn lightly so you can erase your mistake. Like, I feel like, oh, this isn't how I want it to look. Let me fix it. and make it how I want to. That is called using your art, inner art voice. When you kind of step back from whatever you drew, look at it, and you think to yourself, is this how I want it to look? Does this look like the example? And then you take the time to fix it. Next, guys you're going to put in patterns and designs in these frames, okay? Much like Lois Malloy Jones. So up here, I think I'm going to do diagonal patterns going into each other. So one side is going out that way, the other side is going this way. So I'm gonna take my ruler, you know how I love to use my rulers, Okay, so I got one, two, three, four. I'm probably gonna do one more. Then I'm going to go have it go the opposite way. Okay, so going that way, going that way. Then I'm going to do some zigzags or triangles going down the side of my face. This is called a profile, guys. A side profile of a person's face. Here, I'd like to do a, a leaf, a plant. Okay, I got that one there. Oh, and you know what guys, I forgot my eye. So for my person, my side profile, I'm just going to draw like a bowl. A bowl, or I guess you could call it a half moon, huh? And then I'm going to put the eye, the pupil. Okay, good, now they are complete. Next, down here, I guess I could do, hmm, I'm gonna do some diamonds. There you go. And then here, going down, I'm going to do, let's see, I guess I could do spirals in here. OK. 
Okay, guys, now it is time for me to outline my work. Make sure I got a good highlighter. Okay. And I'm going to highlight my work. Oh, I'm going doing this lazy, guys. Not good at all. Okay guys, now it is time for me to color this and I will color this and hopefully you guys have fun making this and I will see you in the next video guys, okay? Bye-bye.